Hi there, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up PS4 Remote Play on your Android device. So, Sony has made some changes and they're now allowing PS4 Remote Play to work on phones other than their Sony phones. So, you can also play on Android and iOS devices. So, we've got our Android device here and let me show you how to set this up. Very simple and very quick to do. So. Go to the Play Store and you search for PS4 Remote Play. So I've got it here, I'm going to hit install. Let's give it a moment to install. Okay, so now it's installed. Let me click open. And it's saying use this device to enjoy your PS4 even while you are away from it. So let's click start. And let's confirm and continue. So it's signing in to my PSN account. It's already cached my details because I've already tried this out previously. So let's give it a moment to try and connect. Okay, so now it's saying cannot connect to PS4. On the PS4, turn on settings, remote play connection settings and enable remote play. So let's do that in the background. It's just a simple tick box. It's ticked and as simple as that. Now, if I click okay, and click start again and let's give it a moment and there you go it's connected so let's turn the sound down so you're hearing the sound okay and I'll click next and it's saying tap here to use the control panel and there you go screens mirrored directly onto there now so if I now focus in on my phone and let me turn it so you can see it sideways. Okay, so there you go. I've repositioned the mobile just to show the mirroring in operation. So it mirrors exactly what's happening on the PS4. It works remotely as well, meaning you don't have to be on your home Wi-Fi network. You can connect to it remotely from another Wi-Fi network or even your data connection on your mobile. So just to demonstrate it in action, so let's start up Fortnite. Okay, and there you go. Up and running as quick as that. No hassles to this at all. And you can see the responsiveness is pretty good on there. Obviously this is on my Wi-Fi network and we've also tested on data as well and performance is just as good on there. Okay, so there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of setting this up on their PS4. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.